Alrighty gang, Minardo here. I am out at the little county park with a little tiny beach and a swimming hole that I have been coming to since I was 16 years old in what, 1976, 77, and this place has been here long before that. Uh, this is where I found the Superman ring last year. If I can find that footage, we'll show it to you now. But well, gang, I'm out here in uh, about a three feet of water in the uh, lake, swimming hole, and guys, I did it. Perfect 10 signal on the knocks. I got my first Superman ring. Superman, Superman. But well, we're gonna put the headphones on, get geared up, put the phone in the waterproof bag, and we're heading to the water. Right there. They've, uh... Alrighty guys, after getting nothing but three 22 shells and trash, look at that screaming, well you can't hear it, but that's a beautiful 28-29. All right, let me put it on pause. All righty, guys, it says I got it on the first scoop. Is there a quarter in the scoop? Yes, there is. Look at that. We are a quarter richer today. Boom. And on a nice 24, 25 signal, we get ourselves a copper penny. There we go. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm outside the swimming area. I'm outside the buoys, and uh, I'm chest deep, which is definitely helping the knees because they were killing me. Um, and I was wondering if anybody's going out past the buoys, and that couple out there is out there drinking a, well, let's just say they're drinking a drink. And uh, you're drinking our drink. You're drinking our drinks, bro. And uh, so I got a screaming signal here. It took me like eight scoops to get it, guys, but I got me a nice, uh, a nice spoon nice aluminum spoon rang up uh, bouncing between low 20s and teens but there we go guys uh, a find outside to somebody near here I'm gonna stay here in the deep water there's a lot of jet skis that come and park here okay gang I want you to check this signal out I know you can't hear it but you can see it right there look at that beautiful that is a six seven signal that is the best jewelry signal i've had all day all right we're going to try and find this guys i've already got three scoops and can't find it so we're going to keep on guys, looking that beautiful six seven eight signal just went away it must have floated away it must have been a piece of tin foil because i can never refine it but guys i just got another bouncy signal and we just got a vape all right well here we go guys i'm still chest deep in the water and that took me like seven eight scoops to get out and i know that timex ain't gonna work because uh, you can see the, the fog inside, but guys, that, it's just about, straps ready, just about to come off, but boom, there we go, Timex watch, two, two water hunts, two watches. Alrighty guys, another great find here in deep water in this lake is this tablespoon or teaspoon. Yep, we'll take that out of four feet of water. Alrighty guys, the guy on the sailboat's getting ready to leave, he's a uh, drunk as shit. Um, he's telling me about all the pirate inlets and coves here that... Yeah, I already know all about those, but he, it's his secret, guys. Nobody else has ever known about them. But anyway, guys, I just got a beautiful 11 signal here and actually got it on second scoop. And guys, there it is. My day is complete. I can leave now. I've been here way too long past what I told Denise. I don't know if that's silver or that's stainless steel, but uh, I'm going to put my glasses on and we're going to look at that here right now. And I can go because that's, uh, that's the find I've been looking for all day up in here. Alright guys, this might be gold. It's got all gold inlay on the inside and it's got uh, crosses on the outside like your iron cross type thing. There you go. You can see the cross guys. Um, it's got it's got one, two, it's got two crosses on it, maybe three. And guys, the whole inside solid gold. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look to see if there's laser and gretchings on this. It came in on 11 and 11 is a gold signal on the Knox. Uh, all right, guys, this is, I've been here way too long. This is my final signal. Uh, I'm not even anywhere near the swimming area. I'm over here near the boat area. All right. Might be gold. You want me to? Yeah. Hell yeah. For you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I will not, I will not hear you. You guys got to go to sailboat guy actually wants me to film him all right I'm not telling him the, the guy the guy to his left knows I've got the ring but this I'm not telling the sailboat guy 
He's been asking, what are, you, what are you looking for out here? What are you doing? There you go. Um, I, I would like to find some. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Have a good one. Alright. All right, guys, I'm back to my car from the park and sitting right here on the ground next to my car door is a uh, zinc penny. People just leaving me money and rings all over the place. Hey, good people, Minardo here. And uh, as you can see by the background, I'm out of the same little lake where I got the uh, ring earlier in the video last month. And guys, I was really hoping with all the rain we've had over the last month and we've had a lot that the rain lake levels will be back up but guys the lake levels are so low that they've closed the boat ramp because you can't get your boat in without falling off the end of the paved ramp so i was hoping the swim area would be a little bigger but guys it's uh sunday the 7th so it's the end of the fourth of july weekend i'm hoping there were a lot of people out here for fourth of july and then we're also going to do the area more where we got the ring the fishing spoon and the regular tablespoon and see if we can find anything more over that area all right, unfortunately, you're not going to get any water shots because I'm sure this surprises none of you. I can't find my waterproof foam bag, and I went to Walmart today to pick one up on the way here. That was the one thing they were out of in the phone accessory area. Target had it, wasn't paying $20. Stopped at three other stores, oh, we don't carry those. So guys, it's taking me two hours to go a 20-minute drive to get here to look for another phone case. So... We're just going to order some from Amazon for our next order trip. So guys, we're going to leave the phone here, and we're just going to show you whatever we find, bring it out of the water. All righty, let's get going. Well, guys, I've got this whole little beach to myself. Some kids just showed up to uh, fish off the boat docks, but I've got the whole little beach to myself. Nobody here to bother me. Uh, this is going to be a pain because there's my detector out there in the water where I just got my signal. Guys, my first signal was an 8-9. I was hoping for a ring, but it's foil. But the second, guys, second signal, gang was a faint three and look at that second signal my day's made obviously this is where i started last time so i missed this very faint three signal but i dug it this time got it on the second scoop and you can tell it's been there a while because that little ball whatever that is is pretty corroded but guys second signal and we've got jewelry all right boom well gang you can see my machine behind me there i went maybe 10 feet from where i got the earring Guy's got an eight signal on the knocks. You know how good, if you folks swing a knocks, you know how great an eight signal is. That could be a gold ring. And guys, I've got the smile. It's a ring, and it's almost the identical ring you just finished seeing in the first half of this video. It's almost identical. I don't know how you can find two men's Christian gold-plated gold wedding bands in the same location or the same uh, swimming hole, but I just did. Whether you believe it or not, let me turn the phone around there we go guys it's got the cross just like the other ring did but it's got a it's got a pattern around it but it is gold on the inside now the other one turned out to be gold plated and this one may be too because i don't see any writing but guys two gold plated cross men's christian wedding bands out of the same swimming hole back to back hunts uh guys my the other one i didn't find till the end of my day i've been here two and a half hours this is my third signal guys a uh piece of aluminum foil an earring and a ring guys and i've just gone in a straight line from here to where my machine is uh yeah day's made guys let's go have some more fun all right gang there is the machine right there in about uh three and a half feet of water about up to my thighs and guys on another single digit this is so small it would have fallen through the scoop but it got stuck in the mud and guys i don't think that's real gold unless it's rose gold i think the base of it's copper but that that's an awful shiny stone right there guys so my third piece of jewelry today, two earrings and a ring. Boom, it's my best day out here ever at this lake. Okay, well gang, this is another smile on my face. Let me turn the camera around and show you. All right folks, there's the machine and only about two feet of water. I know it looks deeper, but it's really not. And guys, on a six signal on the knocks, you have to dig those low signals. It looks gold guys, but at the very end here, there looks to be a little bit of discoloration on it and there's no markings. So guys, I'll test this when I get home. 
but that six is definitely in the gold range it is pretty light though but guys I, whether it's gold or not guys the Knox picked up a tiny chain like this a lot of people have said one of the digs on the Knox is it can't find small thin gold chains like this well I'm here to tell you guys it rang up a nice little quiet six on the Knox boom my fourth piece of jewelry today well gang you can see how low the Sun is now I just looked at the phone it's eight o'clock yeah I've been out here way too long but Wow, one of my best water days in a long, long time. I found uh, several more items over there uh, after the swimming area. Two of them that I thought were rings. I'll show you those in the wrap-up. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm in some serious hip pain. I'm going to take my time getting back to the car, go sit at one of the park benches, and you guys will be seeing the wrap-up next. All righty, guys. I'm not expecting this to be uh, real diamond, but it does look nice, so we're going to test it and absolutely nothing guys not a real diamond which we didn't think it would be but it is a very pretty stone all right next we're going to test the gold on the uh chain but i doubt it's going to be gold because guys i just cleaned it with some baking soda and all the gold color came off so oh. yes i'm gonna no say thing. yeah i'm gonna say that's not real gold all right all righty folks here is the wrap up from uh both hunts and yes, you folks should be amazed that I found the bag of stuff from three weeks ago. Obviously, the Timex watch that uh, has seen better days, I don't think that'll ever run again. Uh, I guess that's part of a vape or smoking thing, another vape. Here's the uh, real spoon I found, and then the fishing spoon. Uh, some type of, uh, I don't know, locker key, luggage key. Part of a lighter. Looks like type of a, some type of O-ring seal or something. A few pull tabs and then three of those 22 shells that sounded just like there are eight signals on the knock so they sounded just like both rings so you have to dig them and then five coins two dimes quarter and two pennies and then the hunt yesterday this was a lot of fun all your sinkers that sound like a silver ring uh the nice little uh look at that nice little jig boom and then guys when this was in the scoop i thought we had a huge men's hunk of a ring but i was in the jet ski area and the same with that. When I saw that in the scoop, I thought for sure for a split second that was another ring. Again, in the jet ski area. Six coins, dime, quarter, well, two dimes, three pennies a quarter. But guys, obviously the highlights of both uh, hunts are the original men's uh, gold-plated Christian ring with the two crosses opposite each other. The uh, Celtic cross, gold-plated on the inside, stainless on the outside. And then uh, a very similar ring with a cross and the word Jesus all the way scrolled across the entire outer band. Uh, gold edge and gold interior, you saw me test it, so gold plated probably also. The little uh, study ring where the diamond didn't test real. This earring that's probably just brass, we did clean it a little bit with baking soda. And that has little, little uh, stone chips in it, but I'm sure they're fake. And then guys, we tested that for gold and silver, neither one, but nice little nine and a half inch chain. So guys, Two hunts there one two three four five piece of jewelry make it home but there you go guys there's the wrap up and the little bracelet weighs 3.65 grams and the first ring we found weighs 8.09 grams and the second ring we found weighs 6.47 grams